Jay. I'm really riled. Let's see what we have over here. Two flasks, both filled with some type of mysterious liquid. I'm kind of thirsty. In this situation, it would be best to leave the lab to get a drink of water. Hey, don't ever drink or eat anything in the lab if you enjoy living. This looks pretty good. Where did you get that? Just kind of found it lying around. You know, that drink kind of tasted like grape soda. Why do I even try? Rule number one, do not eat or drink in the lab room. In a lab, it is extremely important to wear the proper safety equipment. Let's look at our two assistants. A fine example of proper safety wear. Goggles, check. Lab coat, check. Shoes, check. Ahem. <clears throat> what do we have here? Goggles, no. Lab coat, no. Shoes, definitely not. Why aren't you wearing a proper clothes? We're getting started with the points and I can shower, right? Wait, what? You don't ever pay attention. Poison Ivy, I thought this was grass. Rule number three, please remember to wear the proper safety equipment in the lab room, or else. Hopefully our two lab assistants will not have any further, um, mishaps. And we have one hour to finish this experiment. Well, Professor Mez will be very, very, very nervous. If we fail, we fail. We can always take this class again this summer. This summer? You said that two summers ago! Oh, oh yeah. Well, we better hurry up and finish this project then. You know what? It's the same thing you said all semester. So now we just mix this sulfuric acid with this water. No, Rob, no, that acid is extremely concentrated. Sulfuric acid and water need to be mixed very carefully and in specific measurable amounts. You have to add the acid to the water. Rule number three. Always know your procedure.